Okay, y'all, so before we get into all of my labor and delivery prep, I want to make sure the house is spotless for baby boy, which is why I've been using the new 400 from Eureka. This vac mop has been a life saver during my pregnancy, and I know it's going to be especially helpful during the postpartum period. I don't know about y'all, but I hate cleaning my floors. I hate the whole get the broom, then get the mop, wring out the mop, make sure the water's clean. It's like a whole thing. And traditional vacuums and mops are just super time consuming and laborious, which is something I know I am not gonna have time for with a newborn and a toddler. But this new vac mop makes cleaning up super, super easy with all its pristine cleaning features. Now y'all know I have a toddler who is constantly crawling on the floor and you would be surprised with how much hidden dust lives on the surface of your floors. It's actually kind of gross, but thanks to the new vacuum mop from Eureka and the continuous fresh water cleaning feature, I can rest assured knowing that my floors are clean and safe for my babies to play on. And this is not only great for people with kids, but also people with pets because the cleaning solution that it comes with is a sterilizing liquid and it's specially designed to eliminate odors, making it ideal for pet owners. And what's so amazing about this product is it cleans both wet and dry messes. And if you're a parent, you know how much of a blessing this is because kids are constantly spilling things. They're constantly dropping crumbs everywhere. And you only need one device to clean up all types of messes like it is literally a heaven sent this is also going to be super helpful during postpartum because you know your girl is going to be healing up and this specific vac mop has this swivel system where it makes it really easy for it to maneuver no back pain no arm pain because vacuuming can feel like a workout but not with the new 400 okay and now for the most satisfying part dumping out the dirty water i literally mopped my floors three days ago so how is it this dirty i don't know but the eureka cleaned it up so make sure to click the links in my description to purchase your new 400 vac mop today if you want to make your life a whole lot easier good morning good morning good morning y'all how you doing i'm doing great thanks for asking i am on my way to my 38 week appointment baby if they don't tell me that I'm at least a centimeter dilated. Like, I don't know, y'all. Like, I told y'all he's got an eviction notice at 39 weeks. So it's like, buddy, you gotta, you gotta speed it up. <laughs> but yes, y'all, I'm on my way to my baby appointment. So now I'm going every single week. So I have another appointment next Tuesday. And it's just gonna be a reoccurring thing until this little boy gets up out of here. But welcome to my labor and delivery prep vlog. This is gonna be my last vlog before I go on maternity leave. So I just wanted to spend it with y'all prepping, getting everything together. Together, getting myself together okay that's gonna be a big thing because you see this hair you see these nails yeah I can't I can't welcome my son looking crazy like that like it's just it's not gonna happen so we have a lot to do this vlog we're gonna be getting my hair braided getting my nails done we're gonna go to Target get some last minute stuff get some last minute stuff for the baby do some postpartum prep all the things to ensure I have a smooth labor and delivery and a smooth recovery process so i'm actually two minutes away from my appointment right now i think it's just going to be a regular appointment she might check to see if my cervix is dilated i hate when they do that y'all it freaking hurts like cervix checks hurt so bad if she can like break my little membrane or whatever it's called do you guys know what i'm talking about the moms know i don't think break is the right word but they do something to the membrane and that helps to like you know speed up things a little bit for some women so maybe if she does that because i'm seriously so over y'all like i did the mother thing i did the wife thing but i'm just so over here so i'm gonna take you guys along with me in the appointment i'm gonna try to sneak a little bit just just a little bit you know can't really record in doctor's offices but i'm gonna try to sneak something for y'all because i do want you to hear like how the conversation goes and just what to expect if you're an expecting mom who's about to give birth so let's go into my 30 a week checkup good I did my urine sample and now I wait for my midwife to come in and just talk and see what's going on girl even the lady up there was like yeah girl you're about to pop like you're literally right there so it's giving signs of the times I'm really hoping he comes 
this week or next week preferably like this weekend this weekend would be great i would love for him to come november 3rd because my birthday's october 3rd but god may have other plans so we will wait and see i'm gonna try to get some film but i don't know if i'll be able to so it helps get your body and your cervix more ready it doesn't necessarily put you into labor though okay, okay? Raspberry leaf tea, which you'd be drinking two to three cups a day. Okay. Okay. Evening primrose oil yeah. capsules. Mm -hmm. Okay. So orally, like breakfast and lunch, and then at bedtime, one in the vagina. Okay. Like in it? Yep. Okay. Okay. Dates, pineapple, eggplant, sex. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, this baby. I cannot. Here are the updates. My midwife told me that next week at my 39-week appointment, we are going to check my cervix, see if I'm dilated. If I'm not dilated, she's just going to schedule me for my induction for 40 weeks. So this week is literally going to be like mission, get this baby out of me. After we get this pedicure, one, I've heard that a lot of women go into labor after getting a pedicure. I'm just saying. So I'm gonna need Miss Miss Amy to really get in there and really go ahead and give me a nice little scrub down. But also on top of that, y'all, I'm gonna go to Target and grab some of the things that she told me to get, like some primrose oil, raspberry leaf tea, and just <sighs> try to get this boy up out of me. I really don't want to get induced, to be honest. I feel like my last induction, it was just so long. It was so just it was kind of rough i'm not gonna lie like it was kind of rough um but i would just get the epidural earlier this time i was trying to troop it out but that pitocin pain is just like no other so i would just get the epidural earlier if i was to get induced but let's just pray this week he comes out this weekend i have another appointment next tuesday so we we have a week to get this way out so we're gonna go and get this pedicure then we'll go and grab my hair for my hair appointment tomorrow and then we'll go to target to get all the stuff to hopefully get something shaken So I'm going to get some exfoliator. This is so good. Here's my nails. Very basic, very short. I cut my nails because I'm going to be dealing with a newborn, so I didn't want to have long nails. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab a razor. These are ROM, so I'm going to grab one of these. And then I want some simple deodorant. Like, I want some deodorant that smells good. This one's Dove. Let me smell. So I got the brown sugar shaken espresso with two pumps of white chocolate mocha and sweet cold foam and it's good but it could have been better i feel like she didn't put enough ice so it's kind of like yeah this is a good one we'll do this first of all i did not know this brand was in target and i'm the type of person who will literally buy something because it looks cute and this looks so cute y'all like their packaging is so cute smells good i feel like this would be nice postpartum it's very fresh i think i'm gonna get this one mm, this one's like fresh this one's a little bit more musky i don't know it's kind of making me a little bit sick this is good it's like a citrus and then the pink one the pink one is nice as well it's light look at how Don't let me forget, I want to try to find a um, going home outfit here because the one I have is more like summertime and it's starting to get cold. I feel like this is so nice. I'm going to get this one. I found these pants and you want to wear dark pants postpartum because of the bleeding, but these are really soft. This is like the perfect going home outfit because it's loose and it's dark, so I think we're going to go with these. Okay. The only thing I need for baby boy is a bobby cover. 
I don't know which one to go with though because like is this gender neutral? I don't see any like pink. But then there's this, but I'm not like like I don't even know what this design looks like. I guess we can go with this one. We're gonna go with this one. Y'all know how freezing hospitals are. So I kinda wanna get a throw blanket. How big is this? I feel like this would be the perfect throw. Unless I see anything like this. I feel like this is too big. I think that's too big. But this might just do the trick. So I'm gonna grab this. continuing our labor and delivery prep y'all i got this little fall sweater on and like the bump it's so crazy because i was praying this morning and i was just like praising and thanking god because i know i can easily just kind of get into like a negative mindset especially now where i'm just over my pregnancy and i'm just like okay i want this baby out of me but it truly is like a blessing to experience motherhood so I was just kind of repenting and just asking God to change my perspective because this is probably the last time ever <laughs> I'm gonna experience this if it's God's will um so I'm just kind of soaking in these last couple weeks instead of being like miserable like I was yesterday so we're gonna be intentional about changing our perspective today but hair looks crazy because we're about to go get my hair done I'm about to get some slick back to the back cornrows let me show y'all when I got knotless braids the last time I was in labor, I ended up just like wanting to get them completely out of my face. So I was like, okay, keeping that in mind, I'm just about to hit them with this because I just want my hair out of my face. These will last me like at least three weeks, hopefully a month postpartum. So that way I also don't have to worry about getting my hair done. I'm about to make myself a cup of raspberry leaf tea. Yesterday I had one of the primrose the evening primroses and last night i feel like my contractions was getting a little bit more frequent and a little bit more intense so i'm like i don't know if that has something to do with it but we're gonna keep on keeping on with all this little stuff so this is the raspberry leaf tea i'm gonna make myself a quick little cup before we go and hopefully this does not take long her booking website says it's only gonna take three and a half hours so I feel like once I get my hair done, like I'm good. I'm ready to go. Like the baby can literally come whenever he wants. Please don't come before I get my hair done because that would be tragic. So I'm going to sip on this and then I'm also going to take one of the evening primroses. This is my prenatal I take. And honestly, I've been watching a lot of TikTok reviews and this is a really high rated prenatal because it has a lot of the nutrients that we need when we're pregnant. So would recommend this one. You have to get the one with folic acid and DHA though. And then I'm gonna do an evening primrose. So my midwife said that you should take one of these orally and then one vaginally. So in the morning, I'm gonna do orally, vaginally at night. They are pretty big. If y'all don't like big pills, y'all will probably not be rocking with that, but I don't mind big pills at all. And then this one is also big. So yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of big. So plan for today is to just get this hair done. We're gonna pack some last minute stuff in our hospital bag and then we should be good to go. Good to go. And the baby can come whenever he wants. So I'll meet y'all in the car. Only been a few hours but it felt like days. Only been days but it felt like months. We're gone for a year, only go like once. Life move fast and you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Right, right. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so last time I talked to y'all, we were getting the hair done, and it looks amazing. She snapped. But at this point, you know, we're just, we're trying to get this labor started. I feel like I'm prepped. Everything's good. Y'all were with me along the journey. But now it's time for him to come, okay? Once I got my hair done, I'm like, okay, now you can come anytime you want. So, me and my mother-in-law, we were doing some squats, trying to work him out. She's about to make me some tea. And hopefully, by this weekend, he will come. But we will see. I am going to be doing a labor and delivery vlog, but y'all are not going to see that until I come back. But hopefully, you know, we can get some shaking tonight. Hopefully he comes tonight. But if he doesn't, it's okay. We're going to keep on trying. I'm going to go on a walk tomorrow and just do all the things that hopefully will help him come. Because like I said, my appointment is on Tuesday. And if nothing is looking like it's changing, they're going to schedule me. And I really don't want to get induced. But I don't know y'all. So I appreciate y'all tuning in to this labor and delivery prep vlog. It was so much fun getting everything together. I feel super, super equipped for this. I packed some last minute stuff into my hospital bag that I got from Target. So I'm like, I'm good to go. I'm ready to go. But I love you guys. I appreciate you. Next time I see you, I'm going to be with my son. So I will talk to y'all. Ah, it's actually going to be a minute. But I will talk to y'all in December. Bye.